pork. It'd be really tasty. I mean, who doesn't like bacon? One man and one woman for 21 days. Do they have the skill and the will to overcome the most brutal survival challenge of their lives? There's tons of things that could be caught and eaten, tons of material to build things. It's looking promising. I am a wild child. I do not like authority. Got expelled from school seven times in one year. I got pregnant my freshman year of college and I was not prepared in the slightest, but I have no regrets because she is the best thing that ever happened to me. I have lived in the woods eating only fish that I have caught. I can build shelter, I can forage for roots and berries, and I have caught small animals with traps. It's gonna be hard as but it's gonna happen. I'm like giddy right now. I can't believe how blessed I am to be here. A man of faith, one of the greatest blessings of my life was to be a cop. I miss getting in that patrol car every day. I miss going lights and siren. I realize it's gonna be hard, but nobody's gonna be shooting at me. La -dee -da. Hilarious. Leap of faith. Kim. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's get it over the other way. Yeah. How you doing? Doing good. How are you? Good. I brought my battle axe. Ooh. Dig with this, cut with it, crush with it. This is gonna serve as well. I have my bow drill that I made. Sweet. It's got bone, paracord, and cedar wood. Oh, excellent. So what do you do? I'm a baker. Oh, cool. Yeah, what about you? Well, I'm a retired police officer, and I own my own business now. I'm a uh, tactical and defensive firearms instructor. I generally just don't like law enforcement. If he overexerts his authority on me, totally not going to do that. Look at this guy. Oh, right on. Oh, check it out. There's plenty of space. Oh, it's level. So if we this use leaves that. will make great bedding, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think this is our plan A. What this do you think? Prime. I like it. You liking it? Yeah, shall All we right. get to work? Pound it. Boom. There you go. How are you feeling? Good. How old are you? 53. Really? Wow, really? you're like three times my age. You probably know so much more than I do. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. Tell me that's a coincidence. That's a stick. It may look like just a stick. All right, what does it mean Not to, to me. It, to me, it's a, sign of, it's a sign of my Lord. I've come out here relying on faith. My partner is a religious cop. Couldn't really get worse than that. She seems pretty cool. I'm, I'm thinking this is gonna this is gonna click. <laughs> We've got water right there. We just gotta find a way to, to process it. Do you think we should get working on fire? Yeah. Cool. I'm not competent with a bow drill, so I'm counting on her. Come on. Okay, so there's chances. Um, nope, I think that was just burning the wood. So I've only done this twice, so it might not work out. You bring a bow drill that you've used twice? Yeah, it's frustrating. I'm feeling the effects of dehydration. I'd hack off a limb for a fire starter right now. <laughs> fire tomorrow. We'll just have to make do. All right. It is just cold. <laughs> Not to mention, it's just so uncomfortable. I'm not sure about what we can do to make it better. This is horrible. Why don't we cuddle so that we can stay warm? I think we're going to be fine. So I had some time, you know, to like collect my thoughts. And I think that we should talk about a few things. OK. Last night. The whole being cold thing, 
I asked you if you wanted to cuddle and you just didn't seem like you wanted to at all, you know? But we need that sacrifice. And I think we both know that it's not gonna go anywhere. There's no like, it is what it is. Being that close with somebody that is not my wife is very unnatural for me. I have a core set of values that I just, I can't turn my back on. So if we're soaking wet and I like need arms, not just arms, you can't do that. I don't expect you to understand. What I do expect you to do is accept and respect it. You have no say when it comes to my values. Yes, Absolutely I understand right. that. Basically, okay. you're saying my comfort at night is my problem. However, well, let's get it all out in the open. You brought a bow drill. And when I first saw the bow drill, I'm like, oh, yeah, she's got a skill set with a bow drill. But what did you tell me? You've used it twice, right? Yeah. Risking our survival is dangerous. So is not cuddling. You felt I let you down, you let us down. By bringing a skill set here, that is minimal. We choose whether things work or not. I can do this. Be damn. Right? Are you kidding me? You forgive me? God, I can feel like you forgive you. For what? Yay! You did it. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty proud of you. Thank you. Right here. Gigantic victory. We need to collect a whole lot of wood in a hurry. We cannot lose this fire, or we're going to be right back where we started. This is some hardwood. I'm not a 24-year-old rookie cop anymore chasing guys for blocks and blocks until I caught them. I mean, as those days are behind me, for the first time in my life, I'm feeling every bit my age. I might have you take turns here a second. You feeling like you could use a break? Yeah. I'm, I'm hitting a wall. We gotta go. Guys, we gotta go. We'll go what? La condición de Gary eh, en estos momentos es que tiene una baja de presión. Ahora tiene una presión variante. We may not have been seeing eye to eye on things, but I don't want him to go out like this. I'm confronting the fact that I'm not as tough as I think I am. I say I am. I'm sorry for disappointing you. And for letting you down. Just forgive me. Don't walk out of here feeling guilty for me. Please don't. Gary said that he had never left any man behind, but here we are. Here I am. 
left in the jungle by myself. It's gonna get dark, and I'll be alone. It's gonna be really hard, and you guys are gonna think I'm a big fat crybaby, and that's okay, but I'm gonna do it. I'm not quitting. I'm hungry, I'm weak, I've gotta get something to eat. That looks like a palm tree. I don't know if it's a coconut one, though. Oh my god! Palm tree! There's a coconut right by me! How heavy are you? Oh my goodness gracious. Three's a good number. Oh! <gasps> Dang it. So when I cracked it open, I spilled a lot of the coconut water just all over me, and I managed to save a little pool, and I wasn't gonna let that pool go away. Mm, that is so good. <sighs> I drank coconut water, and I loved it. Oh, yeah. This is amazing. I can't even explain. I kicked I got food, shelter, I did it all by myself. <laughs> scary. There are pigs right here trying to come into my camp. They are right there. Go away! Go! Get out of here! I was terrified of them, and then I started thinking about the idea of having really tasty, salty goodness in my mouth. Making a snare trap, I'm using a 10-foot tall branch, and I have some paracord tied to the top. Pull the branch down, secure it with the trigger, and put the noose next to the trigger so that when they cross over the string that sets off the trigger, the tree will bounce up and wrap its noose around the animal's neck or foot. All right, I'm gonna go check my trap. Something ate all my bait and didn't even set my trap. <sighs> all right, hopefully I get some food by tomorrow. Kim's traps attract animals who freely go for the bait, but over five days and nights, she doesn't net a single catch. I feel so defeated. I'm really, really hungry. I bet Naomi's at daycare right now eating some cute little snack. I would kill to have some of it. Since my traps aren't bringing in anything, I've got to find something, anything, anywhere. Oh my god! There's a, like a little baby gator over there. This would make a really good meal. Even a juvenile caiman's bite is extremely dangerous. Getting stuck between its jaws is like a 200-pound man standing on your wrist. <sighs> That's not going in you at all. Don't you dare go anywhere. Don't you go <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> I've never killed anything prior to this. I'm happy because I have food. Ugh. I feel more powerful knowing that I'm able to cry like a baby and still get the prize. I have a lot more than I can eat today, so I'm gonna smoke the rest of the meat overnight. Basically make jerky. Hopefully I have dried meat for the rest of the trip. Grilling time. Oh my God, 
That was so good. Mmm. My body is completely starved of protein. And I can feel it, like, it's so weird. I can feel it, like, already being broken down in my body. I'm really thankful for this animal. I will do anything to get away from those bugs. I went ahead and did something a little out of the ordinary. I peed on myself and I used the liquid with the soot of the fire and rubbed it all over me to keep the bugs off. I have pee on my face, but that's okay because I'm out in the wild. I can do whatever I want. Me. The pigs are at the trap. Oh my god, it's a little piggy. Pork, it'd be really tasty. I mean, who doesn't like bacon? That would be a pretty good meal. Go on, you're free. I'm two days before extraction, I have a belly full of caiman. I'm gonna survive, and I'm glad the little piggy is too. All right, go. Get out of here. I was able to make a responsible decision, an adult decision. That makes me feel good to be a good role model for my daughter. She would be very proud of me today. Day 21, woo! Yeah, I'm so Pumped, it's stupid. I can't wait to go home. I can't wait to, to see Naomi as soon as possible. I really have no desire to carry this thing, but I feel like it'd be the right thing to do. So, no man left behind. Walking up this hill, everything's sharp and dry, and it's cutting into me. <sighs> I can feel my feet just burning. Ugh, this is sick. Ugh. God. That is a big snake. That's a boa. I think I can walk around him. Ah. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. This nightmare is over. I did a lot more than I thought I could. I pushed my body farther than I thought I could. I would say I definitely found a new sense of self-reliance, and I think that that will be very powerful as a single young mother. Yes! I love you, Nye! I did it! You look so grown up, and I'm so grown up. I went to school too. Oh. Yeah. That makes me so happy.